very special away match, very special cup match. Um, so we are very happy that we won the game. So it was the first step <coughs> in this in this competition. But of course, it was also very special because uh, we, to be honest, I I, do, I didn't know before what we really can expect here in the in the stadium. But if you come out and then there, this the, the stands are full with a lot of Benfica fans. It was a great atmosphere. So I think it was a was a top day for us. So we appreciated a lot the support of the. Um, of the fans um, of the Azores, and um, I think yeah, the uh, the opponent did it very well. So um, like always in these um, matches, um, the lower division clubs are very motivated. They showed also good quality, good football. Um, I think with the 2-1 uh, before halftime, it became again a little bit uh, close. But I think then we did it, we did it smart and well. We decided the game, so we are happy that we that we could um, win this game, and we are also happy that we were here to to show also Benfica a little bit on the Azores. First of all, um, it's time to Benfica fans uh, and for your team to have a, a new, a new player, a new, a new man in the front. <laughs> I think we have a different option. Eh? So, in my opinion, Peter Musa also this year did a big step. Uh, so, I think he played already a very good games. Arthur came after after preseason, so he needed some time. And you know how it is. He already had uh, some good moments when he got a chance from the beginning in the matches, but he didn't score. And then you know, then there's always some pressure because everybody is waiting for the first goal. And um, strikers they need uh, confidence, self confidence, and that's why my opinion was very important today for him to score. He scored a very nice a nice goal. It uh, was not easy for him, especially when you are a little bit um, a very physical player like him on the on the slippy pitch was not easy. But I think uh, yeah we try to, to improve day by day and he's a very good uh, person, very motivated in training and I'm I'm convinced in the future he will score hopefully a few go a few goals more than than the one uh, today. I have some concerns about it. Sorry. Uh, Lynn Sensu from uh, local radio and Club Dunder. Um, I just want to ask you, uh, what do you think when the, the people uh, vibrates when João Neves touch the ball? It's uh, some kind of player that you find in Benfica that you didn't know that he was there. It's a surprise for you what João Neves is doing this, this season. It was a surprise uh, last season, so now I know him um, a little bit better, but I think from the first day when he started uh, training with us, with the first team, and I think it was first time in January, um, you could see already that he's a very, very special player, so um, very complete, so technical-wise, top, top, uh, intelligent, um, but also physical. He's a small boy, but uh, nevertheless, he's a uh, physical player. He's very good in winning balls, very good in duels, even in aerial duels he's good. But of course the, the outstanding part is the, the football uh, quality. So um, I think um, yeah, he's, a, he's a great example how players uh, in the youth academy of Betfica can, can develop. Um, and now at the moment with, with him, with uh, Tino, with Antonio, with Morato, uh, with other players, um, we are, I think we, we show that um, yeah, Benfica is a club who always uh, buy players, but also is able to to develop players from the from the youth, and that's why we are very happy because um, that's a little bit also the special thing of Benfica, and we are happy that players like uh, Joao are in our team. Hi Roger, Hi. Uh, Roger, Benfica is a club with uh, a lot of history, but it's only the third time uh, in their history that they play here in this uh, part of Portugal in Tuscany Island. Um, and it's probably the first time for a lot of uh, Benfica supporters that they saw uh, the team in the stadium. I would like to ask you to, to give a, a little word, a little uh, word to those uh, supporters, not only here but from other parts of the world that uh, cannot see uh, Benfica so often as they, they like. Uh, maybe you can see once in a lifetime, uh, and still are supporting Benfica no matter what. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's uh, something very special. Eh? So I, I was now in, a, in different countries uh, as a coach and I trained very good clubs, but 
in my opinion, um, of course, in our stadium in Lisbon is uh, is fantastic. Um, but also, if you see all the away matches, doesn't matter where we play in in Portugal. Sometimes it's like a it's like a home match. Uh, if you play on the Azores, it's a dry three hours uh, flight. Um, there are a lot of Benfica fans on the on the stands, always supporting the team, and you always have the feeling they are very very happy to see the the, the team, to see the players. And I think that's. Um, that's uh, maybe not unique, but it's very, very special. And uh, so we, we, we feel the support, so we appreciate a lot of support. And for us, it's a big motivation to, uh, to play always um, good football and to, to give them uh, the feeling that the, the players do everything to, to win the game for, for Benfica and, of course, for the, for the fans in the stadium. So we, very, we really appreciate uh, that they are always there. Thank you.